My name is Zoe Jones. I work as a musculoskeletal first contact practitioner for the Central Cheltenham PCN. My role is an advanced level of clinical practice. I work assessing and advising and managing musculoskeletal conditions as an expert clinician. I really enjoy being at the front end of the musculoskeletal pathway and feel that my consultation is making a real difference to starting patients off on the correct treatment. Patients are referred in at a first point of contact. They see us for an objective assessment and a good thorough history. And from there, we often direct on self-management and a proportion of the patients may be referred on for either a course of physiotherapy or further investigations. We help to take capacity from the system and that frees up the medical colleagues to manage more medical patients. So it's the right person at the right place at the right time. So as a clinical director, it became apparent to me that we needed an FCP skill set within our, our PCN because I knew from data evidence uh, that about 10% of our uh, avoidable GP contacts could have been dealt with by somebody with uh, muscular skeletal expertise. We love having FCPs. You know, we, I think you know, if, you, if I tell my GPs we're going to take them away, they would, it would be a really bad day uh, because we know that it's providing better care for patients and it's making an impact on our workload. And I think we also just really like being able to have a second opinion from somebody who's got much more MSK expertise than us. Some of the additional benefits of an SCP beyond the initial MSK assessment is being, being able to offer joint injections. Uh, our FCPs can now prescribe, so they're independent prescribers, and they can also sign um, uh, fit notes, sick notes, uh, which means that they can advise people on return back to work, and it means that, oh, that there isn't something that's then passed on to GPs to do. We're finding the patients are extremely satisfied with their FCP input, so we know 95% of patients are very happy to come back to FCP for another MSK problem, and the vast majority are either receiving outstanding or excellent feedback. When patients come to us, either through face-to-face -face or over the telephone, we use resources provided to ask specific questions to determine whether they are suitable to see a first contact practitioner or if it's something that needs to be seen by a GP. As patients seem really happy to be put with an FCP because they get a longer appointment time dedicated to that problem, the team are very skilled and can manage these patients very independently. We have great relationships with the non-clinical and clinical staff, usually informally because we are co-located within the surgery. This allows for case discussions and informal basis, but also two-way learning, and they learn from us with regards to how we manage patients on the musculoskeletal pathway. I really enjoy my job. It's really varied. No day is ever the same, and it's a culture of constant learning. This is probably one of the most exciting parts of the role and the benefit of the PCN model. We are not just giving patients access to an FCP, but we are upskilling the wider team in MSK um, expertise. We have had very little pushback in terms of patients not wanting to see an FCP instead of a GP. So we now have patients who phone and specifically ask to see an FCP. So I feel, uh, and certainly it's not just my opinion, I think all of the clinicians and feedback from the patients suggests that it's been a real success and if we had to do it all over again I would do the same.